<laughs> I'm up. Oh, Rich. Oh. A little average white band here. Cut yeah. the cake. At, uh, that Liberty Ilo as the Lions are going to come out. Liberty Ilo won the toss of the coin, and they elected to receive the opening kickoff. And so the Lions will be kicking from our right to left. Andrew Tarrant is out to kick off. And so, obviously, that's the... Uh, to me, well, say obviously. To me, that shows the confidence Coach Brady has in this uh, very uh, powerful yeah, offense he has. Andrew yeah, you know, uh, Liberty Allo, I don't know what you call it, is kind of throw back, throw back to several years ago. He runs the I formation. Okay, a lot like Marvin Rand, you know, they, and they want to run the football, and they run it very well. And we're going to get short to kick, high handle this. Fair catch call for at the 15 and coming down to the near side, turning at the 25, the 30, and taken down at the 29 is Mikel Watson. Uh, yeah, nice job of coverage. That was brought down by Eric Johnson. That it was uh, Tim Woods, actually number 31, I believe it's Tim Wood. I think he was there on the tackle, nice open field tackle. Uh, and Liberty Idol sets up on their 30 yard line. But I, as I was saying earlier, they, they basically line up in the I formation and they want to run the sweep, they want to run the counter, they want to run the what's called the, the lead or the ISO, and uh, they do it well. And they, they've got um, some decent sized linemen, and uh, I, don't, I understand, well, I hear we say we're in the eye, now they come out one back. Made a liar out of it. Yep. Little, well, Michael James is the tailback, Will Middlebrooks is the highly touted quarterback, 6'4", 210. Quick chunk out to the far side in the flat, caught at the uh, 30. And down at first down territory across the 45 out to the 46 yard line of Liberty Ilo. Well, nice job by Liberty Ilo. They um, <clears throat> put a man back in motion across the formation and then ran a little swing pass to the remaining receivers on Greenville sideline. Uh, you can tell Liberty Ilo does have a lot of speed and uh, picked up a real quick about 16 yards uh, before the Greenville secondary could close on him. Uh, we had a man in position, but uh, we're going to we're going to we're going to run tonight to keep up with these guys. They they have got some good leg speed. And I don't know if our athletes realize that or not yet, but we're going to be on our horse tonight in the secondary. James Batts is the tailback. It takes the handoff left side, and uh, Marty Almanza is holding on to him at the top. And meanwhile, Andy Garner has got him at the bottom, and they hold him to about a two-yard gain. Yeah, they try to run a little quick trap play up the middle, kind of testing our defense, and uh, Pearson McIntyre also in the middle of that pile. Nice job by the group of defense, uh, run defense, didn't get much there. But like I said, you know, they really respect the uh, running back. This, um, was it number four? This line? Number six is six. Michael uh, okay. James. He's the he's the big guy. Yeah, they say he's really something special. Yeah. So we our defense is better be ready tonight. Bats is the fullback. They give it to uh, Jamichael, and he is across the 50 out to the Greenville 48-yard line. About a two-yard gain on that play will bring up third and about five, maybe six. Yeah, it looks like about third and about five. Again, they try to run a little counter. Um, Greenville did, did a pretty good job. We actually hit him in the backfield for about a yard loss, and he's a good enough, strong enough back. He actually drug the pile for about two, three yards, um, which shows the strength of this young man. But now we, our first critical downs here, Rich, you got third and five. See if we can get a stop here and get the ball back. At the Greenville 48-yard line. Pitch left side. Jamichael on the outside with the first down. Knocked out of bounds at about the 41-yard line of Greenville. First and 10 for Liberty Ilo. Well, I'll tell you what, it was a weak side option that time. Uh, he faked into with the fullback. And, uh, quarterback pulled the ball, made a nice option pitch. Greenville's defense all fell inside on the, on the um, what they call the dive back. Uh, somebody was supposed to play the responsibility of the uh, pitch man, and I got a feeling somebody was out of position that time because he was able to pick up about 12 yards pretty quick. Uh, again, good execution on the Liberty Ilo. I can see why they're ranked as high as they are in four and three A. They're 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 a good ball club. I can already tell. Number five in the state by the Associated Press. Handoff and uh, spinning through the line and to the right and then down to about the Greenville 38-yard line goes to Michael James. Yeah, it looks like uh, Nick Spagner and number 41 uh, for Greenville. Uh, Daniel Coleman both had a nice tackle that time. Uh, again, nice job on first down, held up about two yards. But, you know, you look like these guys just about <laughs> ready to get going, you know. I can tell these guys can run pretty good. Second and a long eight. They're at the Greenville 38-yard line. No score in the game. Leopards moving left to right, and they want a timeout. The Leopards do. They call their first. No score in the game, 9.35 to play in first quarter. We'll be back when Greenville Lions football continues in a moment. 
Michael James is the tailback. Quick throw to the right side, caught at the 33-yard line, and then pulled down to the 25-yard line goes Zach Fowler, a 6-4 wide receiver. Yeah, like some good execution, just a little crossing route. Uh, you know, our secondary kids are really playing back, and it looks like they're playing extremely tentative tonight. Uh, you know, against Sherman and Dennison, you know, we would close in a hurry and come up and, you know, it looks like our kids are just a – Trying to get these guys figured out, but we're playing we're playing a little soft in the secondary. I think they're going to take advantage if we don't tighten up a little bit. Kind of a prevent defense. First and ten play. James over the left side gets down maybe to the 24 yard line. A gain of a couple on the play. It looked like a little crossing. Well, they would call yeah a little little counter action. In the old days, they called it a cross buck. Yeah. You know? But um, I almost went with a Pittman Keen turn. <laughs> yeah. But right now the passing game is hurting us more than the running game. Greenville's standing up pretty good against the running game. Uh, their big their big plays have come on passes, and like I said, I'd like to see the Greenville defense, you know, maybe tighten up, play a little, press them a little more. Hand off to left side, turning at the 20, and then to the far sideline goes Brian Porter on the carry, short of a first down by a couple of yards. They mark him at the Greenville 17-yard line. And nice, nice, nice execution. They, faked the pitch and brought it back with a little underneath uh, counter to the fullback, and he had a nice gain. Andy Garner was just about in position, and he got came inside a little too quick and was not, and the fullback was able to bounce it outside. Big play here, Rich. We sure do need to hold them right here because they're about on our, what, 15-yard line? 17-yard line is where they are now, third and two for Liberty Ilo. No score in the game. I formation. Pitch option coming this way. Pitch to James. Turns at the 15 at the 10 and then dragged out of bounds at about the six-yard line. And coming up with that play was Reggie Freeman. Yeah. <clears throat> Again, I'm, I'm watching the Greenville secondary. It looks like they're either a little confused or a little tentative. They um, it looks like they're going about half speed until the play is across the last scrimmage and they try to go catch up with them instead of just, you know, flying to their positions. Uh, that time he had the pitch and he got there late. Everybody else executed pretty well, and the pitch man was left way too open. Lions get a late substitution in. Benny Lee Shelby. Just in time for the snap. James scoots across the middle and into the end zone untouched. Touchdown for Liberty Ilo at 7.52 to play first quarter. Well, that was just a nice drive by Liberty Ilo. Just can't say much else. It just pretty much took down our throats. And, uh, you know, Green, Greenville defense <laughs> looked uh, – pretty confused right there and uh, well they look very respectful of a number five ranked uh, class 3a football yeah, team well they look like they're a little bit intimidated and you know liberty Island made that look really easy and i you know i think greenville's defense is a little bit better than what they just showed right there but uh well they we, we've got to come out with a little fire in our belly and leopards show the swinging gate play and then adjust now they go with a kick Middlebrook's kick is up for the PAT, and it is good. And the Leopards take a 7-0 lead over Greenville with 7.52 to play in the first quarter. We'll be back when Greenville Lions football continues in a moment. Start me up, girlfriend. 7.52 to play here in the first quarter. Greenville trailing at 7-0. Middlebrook's will tee it up and kick off to a speedy trio. Curtis Johnson is back there with Kevin Heath on the far side. Nice kick. Taken inside the end zone, three yards deep. Coming out with it is Raymond Payton down the far sideline. Got to the outside. There's a block in the back <laughs> after the play was over at about the 22-yard line. Yeah, so they got lucky with that one. But not a bad return for Raymond. And, you know, one of those ones he probably really shouldn't have brought out, but he actually got it up to the 25-yard line. Looked like he was just about one man away from taking it down the sideline. You know, Raymond's really got some speed. He's about a – well, he got a 22-yard line. I'm sorry. James with a five-yard touchdown run. They used 10 plays to go 69 yards in four minutes and eight seconds. And the Lions with their first offensive play of the night, 7.46 to play first quarter. Lions down 6-0. One receiver out wide of the near side. Doesn't look like anybody's covering him. Now they bring the safety over. And everybody's up tight defensively. Casey takes off running. Comes to the near side. Turns at the 20, the 25, the 30. Nice game. Got a first and down. gets down to about the 33-yard line. And that's going to be uh, just past the first down markers. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know if that was a quarterback draw or if he was really looking for somebody to throw to. But... Um, he did. He didn't stay back long in the pocket. He he pulled that ball down pretty quick and, and made a nice gain out of it. Like I said, I don't know if that was by design. 
uh, or if it was just improv, but uh, nice, about 11-yard pickup, good scramble by Casey. How did the blocking look? I, it did, I wasn't look, watching the line. It didn't look bad. You know, he, he didn't have a lot of pressure. He, like I said, this thing saw an opening <laughs> took off. Like I said, that's what I'm thinking about maybe by design. Casey Ledford rolling to the right, tucks and runs. Cuts downfield, and after about a two-yard gain out across the 35, maybe to the 36, about a three-yard gain on the play to the far sideline. Yeah, uh, that was a design play. He just took the ball and just took off around the corner. Uh, just the old quarterback sweep is what it looked like to me. And, uh, yeah, kind of a minimal game, but, you know, it looks like the Greenville coaches feel we may be able to run against them a little bit. Uh, their secondary is playing really tight against our kids. Speed. And uh, they have a lot of confidence in their secondary backs. They're really pressing our receivers. They got a lot of men around the line of scrimmage. We'll need to throw one deep or break one on them to get them to respect our, our speed a little bit. Ludford from the shotgun gives it off to the right side, to the 40, 45, to the 50, to the 47 yard line goes Oscar Lloyd on the carry a first down at the Leopards 48. Yeah, just kind of a little, little delay and Oscar was able to score through there and make a nice gain. Uh, picked up about, know, was about a 16, 17 yard gain just right up the middle of the defense. Speed, speed, speed. And, uh, you know, we've got some kids that can run also. So, you know, right now, Greenville, um, three plays and we've marched it uh, over almost 30 yards. So uh, they did some good things offensively tonight for Greenville. Baxter McConnell is out wide of the near side. Eric Johnson is inside of him. Ludford is in the backfield and shotgun. Gives it off to Lloyd. And he's hammered down after about a two-yard gain up the middle. Yeah, it looks like we ran the same play kind of to the other side. Just a little delay in the spread offense. And uh, Liberdale did a nice job that time of closing it down. Uh, but like I said, we haven't thrown the ball yet. They're, Liberty Allo is really crowding us. They're really daring us to throw the football. Uh, they've got like nine men of just about seven yards of the last scrimmage. They've, now they've changed their coverage up a little bit, but I'm and sure they see. Casey's it. capable of threading a needle. Oh, yeah. Casey can throw, and we got some kids that can catch it, too. In motion for the far side. Uh, nice here comes job. a little end around across the 50, the 45, and knocked down at the 45-yard line is Kevin Heath. Yeah, Kevin, um, nice, quick, uh, quick on his feet. He's not very big. He made the first man miss, and uh, second man got him. But... Um, a little inside reverse, but you know th that play is really a good play to run and run it more than once because it, what it does it keeps the defense honest. You know you can't just run off, can't uh, start chasing around, stay, can't charge, start chasing on the back side uh, because you don't know what's going to come back around to your side. You know, and and a good position run, on the field. Yeah, Greenville will run, and they'll run that again. Uh, nice job by the free safety coming up making the play to both sides. They yeah. Will. In motion left to right now goes the uh, flanker. Oh. Muffed snap. Casey picks it up, throws right, got a man open. Curtis Johnson at the 10, 5, touchdown, touchdown Greenville. I tell you what, Casey Ludford, now that one has to go on the highlight film. He gets the ball, he bobbled it twice in the backfield, picked it up on the run, running to his right. <clears throat> Liberty Ilo, under pressure. Under pressure, Liberty Ilo had thought he was going to run the ball. Their secondary had given up on our – their secondary had given up on our receiver's routes. And Curtis – was it Curtis Johnson? Yes. Curtis Johnson stayed with his route. Casey saw him and, and – uh, I'm open. I'm open. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, man, a beautiful throw on the run. And we're right back in this game. Um, but like I said – but I tell you what, and, and the offensive line did a good job of not panicking and just holding what they had. And uh, but I tell you what, that was about a 45-yard throw on the run. That was a you know, that shows the strength of Ludford's arm, and um, nice catch and run. Tarrant on for the PAT. Yeah, we're going to have and to delay a game. penalty. Yeah, markers right. down in the back of the end zone. Well, uh, well, we set up that swing and gate thing, and, yeah. and Greenville just not. I don't, you know, I can't remember as long as I've been doing Greenville football. This is the first year I've seen Greenville do that. Well, that, that must be, that's a Coach Cardell thing. But, you know, last week we got a two-point conversion out of it, you know. so uh, Yes, we did. So they have worked on it. It has paid off. Which was the first time I've seen that, too. But, you know, it was, it was a little slow. And, you know, we, if they're going to do it, they need, need to get on and off the field and get it set up a little quicker. It'll come. A low snap. Terrence kick is up. And no, it just it. does get through. <laughs> That's all you need. Yeah. And we have a tie game, 7-7, with 447 to play first quarter. We'll be back when Greenville Lions football continues in a moment. Lions uh, use six plays to go 78 yards in three minutes and five seconds. Casey Ledford with a 45-yard touchdown pass. And uh, Earl says it was to Heath. And a squib kick down the right side. 
picked up at the 20 yard line on the far hash mark oh, and nice runs job. into his own player and the coverage gets down there's four lions to take him down at the 21 yeah and a penalty marker back up at the 42 yeah, on right. uh, liberty ilo's side of the field well it's probably but where where it's thrown where we kicked off it's probably going to be all sides against greenville i'm guessing rich and we'll probably have to kick it again well there's on I, both sides too there's one on the other yeah, side i, I didn't see too. it but James Edwards. Uh, James Edwards okay. The, the, the uh, referee just signaled something. And so they'll like, we're gonna kick, kick again, again. yeah. But uh, Heath was one that caught the touchdown pass. Okay. Three and, you know, because of their height, Curtis and Kevin are about the same height. Yeah. yeah. And so the bottom part of the number sometimes is stuck down in the inside the belt <laughs> and so the two and the three can kind of you know meld together for these old eyes but i tell you what he that was that was a nice catch because he had to wait on it for a while oh, yeah he did you know liberty Ilo secondary saw what was happening and they were turning and coming back as quick it's as they too could late to though, yeah but um like i said just a beautiful throw and he he was patient he waited caught the ball first and it was able um to just run run the ball on in uh but like i said nice job uh by the uh, Greenville offense, and so we'll see what we can do on defense now. Maybe we can see if we can slow this track beat down. Tarrant to kick off again. Bats is in the middle. Another short kick. Bounces down the far sideline. Picked up at the 24. And across the 30 to about the 33-yard line. And I think that that was no, I'm not going to guess. I, it, yeah, I was, can't uh, it was Mikel Watson, number seven. And I can't tell who, who the Greenville player was, but somebody just uh, hog-tied him and just flipped him out of bounds. It was like a calf rope. Uh, pretty good coverage. We had to back back up and kick the ball from the, what, 30-yard 30, 30 30 line that time. Um, but this is about where Liberty Isle was when they started the last drive. But like I said, I, I would like to see some intensity coming from the Greenville defense now and just, you know, Make this make this a ball game and come out here and just smash somebody in the mouth real quick. First and ten for Liberty Ilo at the 32-yard line of the Leopards. They do their own little end around, and it's Watson Good coming job. to the 30 and is caught and brought down right at the 30-yard line, and uh, that is number 50. And again, we still don't have his name. It's Pearson that. McIntyre. That's right, but Pearson key, McIntyre. But the key to that play was uh, Martin Almanza. He was playing out here at the outside linebacker. He kept he kept the uh, play from developing to the outside. He was able to turn everything inside, and uh, Pearson McIntyre was able to come from his inside pursuit and finish off the play. Great job by Martin Almanza. He's the one that set up that uh, loss of th uh, two yards. And it was LaMichael James on the carry. Uh, again, the numbers are kind of hard to read from up here. And he gets the handoff. Is hit in the backfield by McIntyre, and he can't hang on to him. But then the rest of the white shirts catch up with him yeah. at the 31 and knock him backwards. Yeah, Justin Davis and Andy Garner and uh, Mark Mosby. Looks like most of the rest of the defensive line were able to come and finish off uh, on this play, on that pass play. Rich, we've got third and ten. Now this this is so important because this is the down has been so critical the last two weeks. Uh, at critical times of the game, we, we get them third and long. We've got you know, and, and we're not able to to kill the drive. And uh, like I said, this is something we've got to work on third and long and stopping a drive. We're fixing to put water on the, the little fire right here. Pass to the left side, uh, caught. First down, far side, across the 50-yard line to the 46. They'll mark it at the 46 of Greenville, first and 10 for the Leopards. Well, just case in point, just ran a little bootleg. Um, nothing that was fancy, nothing tricky. Just didn't make the play. But again, you know, I say how many times have we seen that just in this early part of the year, uh, you know, third and long, we played two plays and the third down we let them out and those are what kills a defense because you've got them you played hard for two plays you've got them down and that's like i said that's the weakest part of our defense is our third down third and long brian porter with a catch for liberty ilo first and 10 at the greenville 46 hand off to the tailback james is to the 41 inside the 40 down to the 39 yard line nice seven yard gain yeah good job by the uh, james of liberty ilo he we actually hit him at about uh, two yards at the line of, past the line of scrimmage, and he drug most of the Greenville defense with him for about five yards. Ran, ran with some authority that time. Um, yeah, but you know, after a while, you can get tired of carrying that much weight. <laughs> well, we hope he gets tired pretty quick. I know I do. Yeah, yeah. Second and uh, looks like four, Earl, you think? Earl Wilson, statistician extraordinaire, agrees with me, which is a rarity. It's Kodak moment. 
Handoff to the lone tailback. Comes to the near side. Caught from behind and slung down right at the first down marker. And uh, this is James Batts on the carry. Yeah, Greenville's playing a little bit better, a little different defense. It looks like we're committing about eight. Uh, it's like five linemen and three linebackers. We got eight up in the box, pretty close, and playing man in the secondary. Uh, we've committed, like I said, an extra uh, defender to the run since they do like to run the ball so much. Uh, Earl says he's not sure why they're measuring because he says it's first down. And uh, Earl is right 99% of the time on Thursdays of every fifth month. <laughs> So they stretch it out, and it is a first down at the Greenville 35-yard line. Okay, well, like I said, you know, this, this this looks a lot like the drive Liberty Isle had a while ago. There, you know, two plays we do well, one play they get a big gain, two plays we do pretty well, and here they come again. So, you know, it looks like, you know, we're going to play this cat and mouse, but again, you know, the consistency of the defense is what's going to make the difference in this ball game. You know, this first half and the, at the end of the game, if we still have a chance to be in here, but. We're playing a little bit different defense, so we'll. Middle Brooks, the man under. I formation behind Brooks. Pitches it to James. Ball is on the ground. He falls on top of it back at the Greenville 41-yard line. Well, I'll tell you what, that was, um, Greenville got a little bit lucky that the, there was an errant pitch. Uh, that time, pitch responsibility was to the linebacker, Nick Spigner, and Nick was going to going to his, his uh, responsibility, but I don't. If that had been a clean pitch, I don't think he would have picked, called him till seven or eight yard game. Well, see, that's why I hate I hate the option. Well, anytime you pitch it towards your own goal line, I just think that's not a. Well, that's one thing. If you get a right-handed quarterback pitching to the left. That's that's one one area that it can it can hurt you. Second and sixteen. Play action for Middlebrooks. Got time. Throw to the near sideline deep. Got a receiver there. And it is caught on the face mask of the Greenville player. Just inches short of the goal line. Zach Fowler is the receiver who stands almost a foot over Curtis Johnson. Well, you know, Curtis recovered pretty well. Early in the route, he was beat. He came back, tried to make a play. But uh, the young man from uh, Liberty Ilo, he's a, that's a tall young man. And he just was able to outmuscle Curtis for the um, – for the reception, yeah, nice. six four. Yeah, that's a big kid, and uh, Curtis is about five eight, maybe. And um, he he made up, went up, tried, tried to make a play. He, he was covered. He was about as covered yeah. as good as he can. But like I said, that was a, that was a tough assignment on that one. There's a battle for the ball. It's first and goal inches from the goal. Hand off to the fullback, and uh, waiting to see if Bats got in or not, and uh, no indication. Okay, now are they going? Well, the Liberty Ilo saying they got it, yeah. but the referee is going, nope, second down. Second and goal. So that's a minor victory in itself for the Lions defense yeah. to be able to hold them there. I mean, I don't know how. I mean, the I don't shadow know how, of the football is across the end zone. Yeah, line. I don't see how you can get any closer than that. You had to get a, um, I don't know what they call those little things that measure thickness on metal, <laughs> a micrometer or but, whatever. Yeah, That's about know. close. You got to get about that close to it to, to get the measurement, but it's close. Yeah, check with somebody at L3 on that. I formation again, handoff up the middle, and I think uh, that time. this time yeah. he gets in. Touchdown for Liberty Ilo. Well, it looks like it's going to be a night of big plays, you know. We had a uh, big pass play. They've got a big pass play. Uh, but like I said, you know. Was it number two that scored? 24 on a little uh, James Batts, the fullback, did go ahead and take it. They had their slot man from the right side going in motion to the left, and I thought they might have handed it to him, but obviously he it went was, in the hole before Batts It was did. the fullback, yeah. He was kind of a lead blocker. Swinging gate to the far side. Now they shift back over to the near side. 13-7 the score now. Leopards uh, regain the lead. Middlebrooks to kick. Mikhail Watson is holding, waiting on the snap. It's down. Kick is up. And it is no good. Missed it off to the left side. So it's 13-7. Lions down by six. Seven seconds to play here in the first quarter. They said he got tipped at the line of scrimmage, so one of the Lions got a hand on it. We'll be back when Greenville Lions football continues in a moment. Welcome back to Liberty Ilo, and the Greenville Lions now trail it 13-7 as the, uh, the Leopards take nine plays to go 68 yards in four minutes and 40 seconds. And uh, James Batts with a one-yard touchdown run, even though Earl Wilson, statistician extraordinaire, has written down it was a one-inch 
touchdown. I think right. it's more like about a quarter inch. Man, run. I agree. I think it, it was really there. I don't think it was a whole inch. But um, you know, In the books it'll go down as yeah. yards. But like you know, that was uh, kind of same. We're seeing the same thing this week. You know, a lot of big plays. You know, that are getting us in trouble. Uh, but like I said, at that time, you know, Curtis made a pretty good attempt. Middlebrooks with a high kick. Peyton takes it a yard deep. Comes down the far hash mark. Now turns left. Comes to the near sideline. Turns at the 15. And still up at the 20, across the 20 to the 23 yard line, and it finally goes down there. And with you know just a couple of three more steps, and he might have uh, made something out of that. Well, he was about he he made about three people miss, and it looked like he was just to get cranked up, and one of the trailers was able to come and not, knock him off his feet. But uh, that was a you know for about two seconds there, it was pretty exciting. It looked like he's supposed to get going. If, if Raymond could get in the open, he will fly. He can get after it. Uh, but, you know, Rich, that was the end of the first quarter, and that was um, a lot of offensive uh, fireworks in that. Uh, there was three drives, two by Liberty, Allen, one by Greenville, and all resulted in touchdowns. But I'm good with it. 13-7, Greenville down by six with uh, the second quarter coming up when Greenville Lions football continues in a moment. Justin Glenn with a nice run over the left side, picks up about seven yards, and now it's first and ten for the Lions at their own 30-yard line. They're moving from our left to right. Casey Ledford is uh, working from the shotgun, looking left, looking, still in the pocket, now spinning to his left, decides to take off, and gets the first down at the 35-yard line. Well, I'm not sure what the, the, the Greenville receivers were, were running, if they were trying to go deep or breaking everything off. It looked like they were kind of in between. And uh, Casey was waiting for quite a while. Good job by the offensive line. He waited quite a while for somebody to come open, and I think he just decided to take off. And um, had, a pick, had a nice pickup, uh, got the first down. So, again, you know, the uh, the offense has seen, continued to dominate tonight on both sides. For both teams, the offenses are playing well. Three carries for 18 yards for Ludford. Quick pass, left side, caught, little screen, down the far sideline, knocked out of bounds at about the 44. Can't tell who that maybe is. Maybe the 43. Is that Eric? Is it 31? 31 is Tim Woods. Uh, nice little swing pass. Tim caught it on the sidelines and uh, – had about an eight-yard gain, uh, made one man miss, and was able to um, get up the line of scrimmage on the Greenville sidelines and have a nice game. Uh, like I said, both offenses are really executing well tonight, and uh, I just hope we can continue and, and get back in this ball game. Looks like it might be a track meet tonight. 13-7, Greenville trailing it, second and about a yard for the Lions at their 44-yard line. Letford looking right, throwing right. Caught at the 49, across the 50 to the 49-yard line. Nice throw, uh, Ronnie Stanton. Uh, nice throw and catch. Casey uh, spotted him about seven or eight yards down the sidelines. Ronnie was actually in front of the Liberty Allo uh, bench, and um, Casey threw it about 30 yards to get about a seven-yard gain. But a uh, nice throw and nice catch. Uh, Greenville receivers doing a good job of not catching the ball first, make sure the ball's in their hand. We've had some good catches tonight and not let things slide through our hands like we've seen a little bit earlier in the year. So Trips to the far side. Lions moving left to right, trailing at 13-7. Curtis Johnson comes in motion from the far side. Casey Ledford keeps it on the option. Mm. Fumbles the football, and Curtis Johnson, nice. I think, fell on it back at the 47-yard line of Greenville. Well, we got really lucky that time. Casey was trying to set up the option. Liberty Allo had done a good job of playing both the pitch man and the uh, quarterback. Casey looked like he was trying to figure out did he want to pitch it or keep it, and um, I think he decided to pitch it just a little bit too too late. And fortunately for Greenville, Curtis Johnson was able to recover the errant pitch on the ground, and uh, that could have been disastrous for us. But second down, uh, second down, and a long 12 for Greenville from their own 48-yard line. And, uh, ooh, that started to say the whistle should have blown because Ledford had to go down to the ground to pick up the low snap and had a knee on the ground. So that's a loss back to the 43-yard line. Yeah, we're starting to implode a little bit right now. Um, like I said, just execution. You know, this what we've seen a little bit at the beginning of this season, you know, just execute five plays and mess up on three. And 
execute ten plays and mess up on two, and it's just drive killers. So now we're consistency. Like, you got to have yeah, consistency. You know, especially against good teams, we've been playing some pretty good teams, and you know we're not to the point yet where we can make these mistakes and come back. We've got to be able to play the whole game perfectly. Twins to either side for the Lions. Third down and about 19. They need to get to the 39. And here goes Ludford across the 50, the 45, and down to about the 44-yard line of the Leopards, and it'll bring up fourth down at about five. Yeah, Casey, not just quarterback draw. I think they were just trying to get what they could get. Casey picked up about. 14 of the 20 yards we needed for the first down. Uh, so, like I said, nice play, nice execute, nice game. Just too bad we had so far to go to get to begin with. 8.25 to play first half. Greenville trailing at 13-7. Lions moving from our left to right. Ball in the near hash mark. Andrew Tarrant standing back at uh, about the Greenville 43-yard line to punt. And James is back deep. High snap. Tarrant pulls it down. High Spiraling punt, oh, takes man. a leopard bounce. Oh, man. It hit at about the 30 and then backed up to the 35-yard line, and they're going to mark it at the uh, Liberty Ilo 36. Yeah, that was, uh, boy, that would kind of hurt a little bit. That, uh, Andrew had, has been punting well. That's not one of his better punts, but he had been punting well this year. But you know, that was only a net gain of about 12 yards. Uh, like I said, we didn't do ourselves any favor with that punt. We could have. Uh, yeah, but he's gotten some that uh, yeah, got, got a roll that he yeah. shouldn't have gotten to. And, yeah, and that one uh, took the roll the wrong way, backed up almost about seven or eight yards when he hit the ground. Leopard's moving from our right to left now. Twins to the near side. One receiver to the far side. Batch is the lone setback. James comes in motion, takes the handoff, comes to the near side at the 35, the 40. First down at the 45, across the 50, and across the Greenville 45 to the 44-yard line, first and 10 for Liberty Ilo. Well, nice little inside reverse. Uh, running back from Liberty Ilo has a lot of good, lot, lot of good speed. And again, you know, we just got to come out and play with some tenacity because right now the Greenville defense is kind of looking around like, what do we do? How we do it? And uh, got to get some fire to stop these guys and, and, and get the ball back because we haven't stopped them yet. James, 11 carries for 50 yards so far in the game. Second quarter, 13-7. Liberty Ilo leading it. They have the ball moving right to left. Middlebrooks, hands off. And a loss on the play for Bats back to the 46-yard line. They will mark it at the 45 of Greenville. Well, that was a nice play by Daniel Coleman. Uh, he read that play quick. It was just the option. He gave it to the dive man, and Daniel Coleman was there just to plant him on the ground. He didn't get anywhere. Just a really nice form tackle. Second and 11 for Liberty Ilo. Receivers wide to either side. James is the tailback. Bats the fullback. Middlebrook sends his uh, receiver in motion to the right. Keeps it optioned out of the near side. Pitches to James oh, with the last second. Man. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds short of a first down at about the 37-yard line of Greenville. It'll bring up third and short. Yeah, we really had that played well. It was a lead option. We had everybody covering, and um, Oscar Lloyd was responsible for the pitch man. And uh, the lead back was able to kind of knock him out of the way. And he was able to pick up about a uh, about an eight, seven-yard gain. I thought he got more than that. It's uh it's so a third down play at the Greenville 33-yard line. It needs to get to the Greenville, I'm sorry, 38-yard line. It needs to get to the Greenville 34. Yeah, we, boy, we need a big play right here from the defense. Need a big play. Play action, Middlebrooks, pumps, under pressure, and down he goes at the 35-yard line, short of a first down, will bring up fourth and one. And I got a feeling Liberale will go for this. Good pressure by the Greenville Lions that time. He wanted to throw the ball. Everybody was covered. Did a good job with the secondary. And uh, he just pulled down side take off. We had about three shots at him to stop him deep in the backfield and, and missed him. Um, but like I said, big play right here, Rich. If we could somehow stop him and uh, maybe get the momentum back in our favor. 6.36 to play here in the first half. Greenville trailing at 13-7. Fourth and one play at the Greenville 35 for the Leopards. Hand off to the fullback, trying to battle to get that first down at the 34. And he Greenville thinks that he did not get it. Well, if they're marking it on the Earl said he didn't get 35 it. yard line, he's going to be a little short. I, I, I think you're right. I think we stopped him. Yeah, Liberty Dallas walking off the field. They know it. Well, that big play for Greenville defense. You know, that was, that's the first stop we've gotten all night. It couldn't have come in a better time. 
to you know give the uh, give our offense another chance to get back in this ball game. But that was a uh, an inspired stand on that fourth and short because the way Liberty Island has gone all night, you figured that's not that tough for them. First and 10 for Greenville at their own 35. Ball in the near hash mark. They're moving left to right, trailing at 13-7. 6.20 to play here in the first half. Casey Ludford in the shotgun. Lions running out of that no-huddle offense. Twins to either side. Waiting on the snap. Gets a good snap. Looking left. Pumps right. Throwing down the near side. Got two receivers out here. And a oh. jump for the ball. And uh, neither one of them came down with it at the 24-yard <laughs> line. The one uh, there for Greenville was Ronnie Stanton. Yeah, Ronnie um, leaped and, and, and well, made a good attempt. It looked like he was going to. Ronnie had the uh, the young man from Liberty Isle OB, which is right now the young man from Liberty Isle is on the ground. Looks like he's hurt his back or had the wind knocked out of him or something when he yeah, hit the ground. Had the wind knocked out of him. I think he's okay. But, um, you know, Ronnie had him beat early in the route, and uh, Casey let it fly, and, and, and the ball hung in the air just a little too long. And he's throwing against the wind on top of that. The wind has really kicked up yeah. out of the south. But a uh, good speed by the Greenville receiver, like Ronnie Stanton. And if that ball had just been a little bit, trajectory had been a little bit less angled, uh, might have been a big completion. But mm -hmm. I liked I liked the call, and I liked, uh, you know, have Casey had these guys uh, stretch out and see if they, see if they can run, you know, they and, and they can run. But, you know, that time we ran past them pretty easy. Emmanuel Fagan was the uh, – defender yeah, and he is able to uh, get off the field under yeah, his own power so that's good shook up a little bit but I think shotgun okay. formation for the lions twins to either side second and ten play handoff left side and uh, justin glenn i think it is it gets out to about the 39 yard line about a four yard uh, game will make it third and about seven yeah just that nice little just a nice little delay, delay run. Uh, if he, <laughs> I think that was Jermaine Hamilton that was running yeah, that ball. Yeah, it was Jermaine Hamilton. But um, I was like, trying to read Earl's fast hand signal yeah. there. But brings us third and seven. Like I said, we really need to convert this and, and, and get some momentum going again. Um, Twins to either side for the Lions on a third down play, uh, and a whistle blows. Yeah, I'm not. I don't see any flags now, but I don't know what. Dead ball it? foul, false start charged against the okay. Greenville Lions. So. That'll back them up five yards yeah. and make it uh, third, third and ball. 11. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot ourselves in the foot again. This is what we did last series. Start making those mental mistakes that have been talking about the last couple of weeks. 535 Just to play us. here in the first half. Greenville trailing at 13 to 7. They say roll the clock. And the clock is rolling now. The Lions uh, got the play in. Come up to the line of scrimmage. That no huddle offense. Casey Ludford from the shotgun. Low snap, picks it up off the ground and rolls left. He has a receiver open oh, and throws it nice. low and outside. And he says, ball one, pass intended for Baxter McConnell, and he was short of the first down. But he, uh, they didn't give him the catch. They said it was a. Uh, yeah, they said, trapped it. The ground, yeah. He was, he was open. Like I said the throw was just a little short and uh, kind of one hopped it on the ground. Yeah, it's not easy to roll to your left and throw to your left. Yeah. But and he let him sit there for a while before he threw it. He was open. Yeah, he was open, open early, and like I said, Casey finally saw him and and um, delivered the throw. But we shouldn't. Uh, Karen the from the 21 with the punt. Like got a little this bit one looks this nice time. into the wind. Oh, 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 it's mopped oh. loose on the ground at the 48-yard nice line. And Greenville has yeah, come up with it right. at the Liberty ILO 48-yard line, first and 10 for the Lions. Well, <laughs> number 50, Pearson McIntyre coming up with it. Yeah, you know, that was a lucky break for Greenville. The, um, it was a pretty good punt by Tarrant, and it looked like one of the upbacks from Liberty ILO. It, he turned around, saw the ball coming. It looked like it was just kind of a reaction he had. I don't think, you know, didn't look like he was trying to catch it or really wanted to catch it, but he just the ball was coming right at him. He stuck his hands out there, tried to catch the ball. Really to kind of snag it out of the air. He wasn't in really good position. And um, in the old days, we just called that a muff. Yeah, or, or and it looked like the wind started blowing it away from him. Uh, yeah, on and top he, of he liked to just muff the ball. And uh, opportunistic as we um, were at that time, uh, Pearson McIntyre on the coverage uh, got over there and got on the ball. And like I said, just a real fortunate 
just a real fortunate turn of events, and we've got the ball sitting on Liberty Idol's 48-yard line with five minutes left, you know, chance to maybe get some more points. Timeout is called, and uh, we'll take a timeout. 5.02 to play in the first half. Greenville trailing at 13-7. Greenville Lions football will continue in a moment. First and 10 for the Lions. Ludford from the shotgun. Pumps once, now throws down the near sideline. Got a receiver open. Caught at the 11-5. <laughs> touchdown, Greenville. Well, that's Ronnie <laughs> Statton with the pass. Woo! Man, that didn't take long. Well, you know, like I said, we've got some kids that can run too, and, and Liberty Isle is known for their speed. And, um, you know, a nice call by Coach Cardell. I've got to give him a hand. The young man, um, that was the substitute of the gentleman that got hurt earlier for Liberty Isle on the last series. And that time we ran an out and up, and Ronnie uh, has got good leg speed, and he just outran the young man from Liberty Isle, which is the backup. Nice catch, and um, one play, we're back in this ball game. In fact, we might have a chance to go up with uh, five minutes left in the ball game. Looks like we had a little bit of new life for Greenville Lions. Execute, like I said, tonight executing very well offensively. Tie game 13-13. Andrew Tarrant on for the PAT, kicking against the wind. Waiting on the snap. It's there. The kick is up. Oh, nice kick. And That's it good. is good. And the Lions take the lead 14-13 with 4.54 to play in the first half. We'll be back when Greenville Lions football continues in a moment. Ludford with a 48-yard touchdown pass to Ronnie Stanton after the Lions recovered a muffed punt at the 48-yard line of Liberty Ilo. Stanton with a short line drive kick, bounces and picked up at the 21-yard oh. line on the far side. Boom. And then smothered at about the 26-yard line oh, on the return that time for Liberty Ilo. Well, Greenville did a good job of covering uh, that time. Sammy Jackson, number seven, really got a nice jump of the ball and, and, and was able to get down the field quick. and. <laughs> and, and had a, a decent shot at the at the running uh, or the kick returner, and um, was able to slow him up enough to make him miss. But then somebody I can't tell who was. There's a flag back downfield uh, at the 40 yard line. Uh, well, that's probably we're going to be offsides then. We're going to kick it again. And uh, I think that that was Bats on the return for Liberty Ilo, but I'm not uh, I'm not sure. Okay. And uh, Earl says he thinks that they're going to wave it off and take the ball where it is, which is pretty good field position. On about uh, the 28-yard 28. 28 line. Yeah. Instead of giving uh, the Lions a, another chance to. Well, okay. Perhaps, because right now they're not that confident handling the kicks, perhaps. Maybe not. I mean, it's, um, like I said, they've got, they've got some speed, and they're not wanting uh, Liberty Idol's kids to catch it clean and get a good run. Uh, we're kicking it on the ground and squibbing it, and it gives it gives time for the Greenville defenders to get down the field. They're waiting on the ball, and it um, also messes up the timing of the uh, the blocking when you have to wait at a different pace than you're used to. First and ten for the Leopards from their own 33-yard line. They're moving from our right to left, trailing Greenville 14-13. Middle Brooks gives it to James on the left side, across the middle and out to the 40-yard line, the 41-yard line of Liberty Ilo, and Mark Bosby takes him down there. It's just it's what you call the old power eye ISO, just come right the middle with the lead blocker. You know, James has got some good speed, has got some good moves, and you just, when he gets the ball, you just almost, okay, this guy's fixing to take one if we don't be careful here, because, you know, he, he can go. And um, we've been holding on to him pretty good so far, but I I formation, handoff to James ooh, again, ooh. is hammered at, for a, a loss of about a yard at the 40-yard yeah, line. I want to see. Pearson McIntyre's there and also number 36. Nick Spigner was the one that uh, that led the way. And Jermaine Hamilton also was in on that tackle. Uh, nice job. But uh, Pearson got, was able to come through the line, uh, bust through the last scrimmage in a hurry and disrupted it initially, and then the rest of the Greenville defenders uh, like I said, Jermaine Hamilton and Nick Spigner were able just to polish them off. But, you know, I'm starting to see a little fire now. Uh, Greenville's starting to hit a little bit out there. And I think their confidence level starting to rise and starting to believe in themselves now. Um, you know, Liberty Ilo jumped on us quick, jumped on us early, and things looked like, oh, here we go again. But, you know, Greenville's responded. Um, I think Coach Cardell and the uh, offensive staff have done a good job. Well, the defense staff doing a good job, too. But the Offensive staff has done a good job and has a good game plan. We're able to take advantage of some of the matchups, it looks like, so far. James uh, got up a little slow that time for Liberty Ilo. He'll have to come out of the game, or the Leopards will be charged with a timeout. So uh, Liberty Ilo now with a third and two just outside their own 40-yard line, moving right to left, trailing Greenville 14-13. 
3.45 to play in the first half. Well, Bats is caught for a loss and dropped back at about the 38-yard line of Liberty Ilo. Well, that time, Justin Davis, Jermaine Hamilton, oh, and Martin Bats. Mosey Sorry. Uh, all just had a, a powwow in the backfield with the uh, number 24, I think. Brian Porter was who it was, Brian Porter. And, um, you know, you, you can see when they miss when they have James out of the gate ball game, it's just a little bit different. But um, hats off to the defensive squad that time. Like I said, I seen a little fire, a little determination, and we got the uh, about three minutes left. We're gonna get the ball back in pretty decent field position, uh, assuming we can feel this punt here. Middle Brooks is back to punt as they uh, bring in a player late. Lions have two receivers back at their own 25. 2.57 to play in the first half, and uh, Liberty Ilo takes a timeout, yeah, they're trying to trailing at 14-13. And we'll be back when Greenville Lions football continues in a moment. Middlebrooks is back at his 23-yard line, waiting on the snap. The Lions have two receivers back at the 25. The ball skips back to Middlebrooks. He booms a nice high one. kick. Bounces oh, yeah. at the 31-yard line, nice and then job. bounces out at about the 33-yard line as it takes a Lions bounce. With 2.48 to play in the first half, the Lions will have pretty good field position to work with here as they lead at 14-13 over the number five state-ranked Liberty Ilo Leopards. Well, like I said, you know, you, you, you're seeing a little bit of uh, excitement on the Greenville sidelines. Uh, kids are jumping around. The coaches, <laughs> yeah, they're starting to get pretty excited over there now. They're seeing some good things. And, um, you know, they feel like they were due a game where things kind of fell into place for them. And, you know, this might be the game. It may not be the game. Well, but, Coach so, Cordell but, has saw this team last year. Yeah, he knows his team. And he knows the coaching staff. And, and the semifinals. Right. So, you know, and, and, and they know each other well. And so, and, and you knew it was going to be pretty spirited. Casey Ludford. Hands off, left side, across the 40, and out to the 43-yard line goes Justin Glenn. Well, Justin Glenn just lowered his head. You know, Justin Glenn's a pretty good-sized young man. He, uh, you know, He's about 5'11", and he probably goes about 185 or so, and, and, and he's pretty strong. He's got good speed. He's not a burner. But um, that time he just lowered his head and just went straight up the middle. He's not trying to move, shuck, or jive. He just, let's go north and south of this thing, and he picked up, oh, man, almost a 10-yard gain, second and short. Look for the Lions maybe take another deep shot here. Well, they were also kind of looking at, at Casey because they've got to watch him. They don't know when he's going yeah. to take off. Yeah, Casey yeah, hasn't. You know, if, if they go to sleep, Casey's going to burn them too. Second and less than a yard for a first down needed for the Lions. And coming down the side, uh, Ludford has got the first down and more across the 50, the 45 to the 43-yard line of Liberty Ilo. The market closer to the 44-yard line with 2.07 to play in the first half. Lions leading at 14-13 over Liberty Ilo. Well, I'll tell you what, that time that was um, that was the read for Casey. Um, I think Justin wanted the ball, but Casey pulled it out, which was the correct read. Um, and then he just took off. And just as we were talking about a while ago, if you don't watch him, he's going to burn you. That time he burned him for about 15 yards. And it doesn't take him long to go 15 yards. You know, Casey's got good speed, and uh, he, he, can get, he can get rolling. And once he gets rolling, he can really get out, get down the field pretty quick. But uh, Greenville right now has got a nice little drive with about a minute 48. Uh, we, we're on Liberty Isle's side here. Hand off right side, was. and they may have gotten back up the line of scrimmage. Yeah, it's I'm Curtis not, Johnson uh, on the – no, it wasn't Curtis Johnson. That's a new running back. Nine. That's C.J. Nelson, the backup quarterback. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what play – okay, I see. Okay, C.J. was in for Casey in for, for a second. Casey, yeah. yeah. So uh, he just ran the little quarterback, little quarterback snap, little quarterback draw. Like I said, that, that – it looked kind of funny for a second, what we've been used to seeing. Second and ten for the Lions at the 44 of Liberty Ilo. Hand off up the middle, left side, and then spinning to the right, about a one-yard gain, and a late flag comes in. Oscar Lloyd on the carry for the Lions. I'm not sure what that, but usually when it's from there, it's going to end up being a face mask or it's going to be a holding. So, yeah, it's going to be a holding. Ah, but it was a late flag is what got me, so I thought it might have been a face mask. Yeah, it was pretty late, but umpires probably 99% of the time are going to throw yeah. a holding penalty on that. But, you know, it's aromatherapy for me whenever Lori Butler comes into the press box. <laughs> and uh, she's a sweetheart. I've known her for so much. I practically helped raise her. She's a sweetheart. Okay, it looks like we got a little confusion on the fishing squad, but it's going to end up being second in about 20. Um, they need to get to the 34 of Liberty Ilo to pick up a first down. They're going to mark the ball at the Greenville 46-yard line. You know, Rich, we talked earlier, that secondary starting to back up a little bit for Liberty Ilo. They were well, now they've kind of pushed back in, getting a little bit tighter yeah. again. 
Ludford from the shotgun. One running back standing to his near side. Slot man comes in motion from the far side. Ludford rolling right. Now backs up, heads toward the other side. Pulls up, chunks it out of bounds. Uh, Probably a wise decision. Yeah, good, good, good awareness of Casey on his part, not to take the sack, not try to run because you know he was right, going to get. And uh, well, he had three receivers over here. Yeah, it was going. To, it was trying. They're trying to run like run a flood route yeah. to the right side, and uh, the protection broke down. I, I think Liberty Idol had a stunt, and they were able to get in our backfield in a hurry and disrupted the flow of the play. So um, it, that was that. Like I said, kind of missed messed up Casey's timing, so reversed his field, got what he could, just threw the ball away. Really a good play on his part. Third and about 20 for the Lions from their 46-yard line. From the shotgun, Ludford takes off running up the middle and gets almost to the 50-yard line. It'll bring up fourth down at about 16 with uh, 33 seconds to play, and the clock will roll. Well, Holding play really missed, you know, whatever it hurt us on this particular drive. But again, Liberty Idol doesn't have any timeouts remaining, by the yeah, way. Yeah, you know, it looks like we're just going to be content to just get out of here. Uh, With a lead. Yeah, and it, in fact, we're just going to let it run out. The, the two clocks are just about a second different in our favor. But again, um, you know, not a bad half of football. And like I said, I'm starting to like what I see with the Greenville. I've seen a little confidence and a little pride, and, you know, they're, they're getting after it pretty good. Middlebrooks with the kickoff. High, deep. Peyton takes it eight yards deep and puts a knee down. Middlebrooks with a 40-yard field goal, three plays, minus nine yards in a minute and 35 seconds as the uh, the Leopards took advantage of some miscues on the part of the Lions, uh, specifically a deep snap that went over the head of Ludford and then uh, set the Lions in a backward motion. And the Lions defense really did a good job of holding them just to three points and just down by two now, 16-14. Yeah, they had um, you know three nice plays where they were in position and made made something happen defensively to keep them out of the end zone and um, you know force Middlebrooks to uh, you know. Of course, he has a wonderful, great leg, and, and we saw that. But, you know, like I said, that was a good defensive series by the Lions, and, um, you know, we need a lot of that. Oh, my High God. High snap again. This one goes into the end zone, and uh, Casey Ledford kicks it out of the back of the end zone. Good this job, This went Casey. so far over his head, there was no way he could have got to it. He would started to move to his left. The ball was high and to his right and went back just into the end zone, and Ludford kicks it out of the back of the end zone, and so that's an automatic safety and will make it 18-14. Well, I'm going to tell you what, that was a great – that was a good job by Casey Ludford. Yeah. I mean, that was a smart play. He's done a lot of that tonight. Uh, uh, it's too bad he had to do that. But, you know, he, he knew that the, the, the Liberty Island defenders were right behind him in a foot race to get to the ball, and like I said, that was the best thing he could have done, just kick it out and just hold him to two points. But, man – you know, we're killed. Boy, you're talking about shooting ourselves in the foot. We're killing ourselves right now. And um, I know Coach will get that straight now, but my goodness. Yeah, that's the that's on the snapper. Oh, yeah. Right we, there. You know, and then that's, a, you know, the snap has got to go right, and then everything else has got to follow suit. Yeah, you know, our snapper, uh, our center is Nathan Bird, and, you know, he's been pretty reliable. But, boy, that's two in a row this. Woo. we got to get that fixed, and <laughs> we're not going to have a chance. But well, it's you know, not like he's trying to do it. No, no, and like I said, he's been really good this year, but, boy, just uh, timely mistakes, timely mistakes. See, this is the thing that, you know, so far this season against Sherman Dennison when these things were happening, we weren't good enough to come back and come overcome these. Um, fortunately, we've held the minimum points, but, again, Liberty Ilo is going to get the ball back in good field position. We've run four offensive plays and given up five points and uh, you know this is not what we we've, we've got to get out of this Andrew Tarrant will kick off from the 20-yard line as they get the free kick 821 to play here in the third quarter lines down 1814 took a little trip yeah high not a high kick little line drive picked up at the 41 yard line James coming to the near side turns at the 45 and then is uh, knocked down at about coverage. the 47 yard line yeah Tarrant did a little squib kick he picked it up about the 40 and got about a seven yard return Greenville did a good job of covering uh closed down the lanes he didn't really have much place to go but again it's better than our 14 yard line now they're on their they're on 48 or the one yeah oh man but again like I said just mental things. We get those things taken care of. We've got a chance to be a pretty decent ball club. But right now, you know, we've got to be able to play tough, get out of this adversity, and, and get the ball back. But the defense has put, pushed them back in the last series that they had. 
pitch okay. coming back, and uh, James has to fly up into the air to get it, and then he's tackled after about an eight-yard gain over the left side, and it was Reggie Freeman that took him down. Yeah, uh, you know, on the weak side, weak side option, somebody, uh, I can see Martin Almanza is talking to um, um, Hamilton, uh, 36, uh, yeah. Yeah, Jermaine Hamilton. And I, one of those two guys should have been on the pitch man, and uh, Reggie Freeman had to come all the way from the safety position to make the tackle. So, you know, it's that discipline of staying where you're supposed to stay and doing what you're supposed to do and not getting caught up. And um, and James took himself out of the game. They give him a, a barely a six-yard gain on the play. Play action by Middlebrooks, rolling right, throwing right. Ooh. and dropped at the 45-yard line. Well, i tell you what, that was a good job by Martin Almanza. Um, I don't know if he got a hand on it or not. It was just a little flood route back out of the backfield. Martin Almanza got his hand up, and, and like I said, I couldn't tell if he tipped or not, but, it was, but the ball looks like it, it looked like it was tipped, and um, the running back couldn't make the play on it. Brian Porter was who the pass was intended for, number three, 5'10", 188-pound senior. James is still out of the ball game. Brings up third and, five. and a short five at the 46-yard line of Greenville. Ball in the near hash mark. Liberty Ilo moving right to left. Middlebrooks play action. Dumps it out left mm. side. Caught at the 43. Down the near sideline at the 30. Porter now at the 20. And they say he stepped out of bounds back upfield at about the 36-yard line. But that's a first down a first at day. the Greenville 36. Yeah, he had run a lot far that time. It looked like Andy Garner was trying to cover him out of the backfield. And... And he's a little gimpy, and he's got a bad ankle, and there's just no way he could physically run with uh, Porter of Atlanta. Um, you know, had, had a shot. Ilo. I mean, I'm sorry, Liberty Ilo. Same colors. Yeah, it really are. And both of them are speedy. Yeah, both of them. Atlanta's got a lot of speed. Liberty Ilo's got a lot of speed. Atlanta, I think, won the track meet. Middlebrooks hands off to oh, James. No. He goes right. Big hole. Cross yeah. the 25, the 20, down the far sideline at the 10. And out of bounds, they're going to mark him at about the seven or eight yard line out of bounds on Greenville's side of the field. Yeah, just this, the old power play right off tackle. And um, James had a nice opening. He just it got into a foot race with our secondary. And just a, a nice game, nicely executed. We had pretty much shut that play down. But, you know, they just keep giving it to that good back. And, you know, he's going to break one after a while. Um, well, he took himself out of the ball game for about three plays. Yeah. So he got a good breather. That stopped the clock uh, with 7.09, 18.14, Liberty Ilo leading it. They're on the far hash mark, moving right to left. Middlebrooks, hands off left side. James goes back inside across the five to about the four-yard line. And uh, that'll bring up third, I'm sorry, second and goal for the Leopards. Yeah, right now Liberty Ilo's got things going their way. Greenville's defense is kind of rocked back on their heels. We've, we've asked Greenville defense to do a lot this second half, and, and you know they're still sticking in there pretty tough. But... You know, we got three plays to hold them out. We, if we could hold them to a field goal, it's still a one-possession game. But um, as that's asking a lot right now, what, what we've been going through. I formation for the Leopards on a second and goal. Middlebrooks pitches right side to James, and Spigner cuts underneath and knocks him down. And they say that James got in the end zone. I don't know, but uh, well, of course, it's at the far corner. Earl says he got in, so that's all I needed to know. Okay, well, the main thing, the referee said he got in. So, But like I said, that was a, a, a nice offensive series. They had two big plays, the, the third and five, that they got the first down, and then the big run off the tackle. Um, and James is still down out of bounds over on the far side as a leopard set up in that swinging gate. Okay, yeah, here he comes. He's got up, coming on up. But anyway, the um, – yeah, like I said, Greenville right now has, has we're jinxing ourselves and whew, we've gone What's from that? one point lead to being down ten. It looks like it's gonna be eleven here in just a second. Well he went from being injured to now he's running off the field. I think Mr. James likes a little attention. That's right. They are televising the game tonight. Yeah, I think he likes a little attention. Twenty four fourteen. Leopards on top, set up in the swinging gate now for the point after try. Middlebrooks on for the PAT. Right-footed kicker, seniors, committed to uh, Texas A&M to uh, pitch baseball. Gets the kick up, and it is good. So it's 25-14. Leopards lead it with 6.29 to play third quarter. We'll be back when Greenville Lions football continues in a moment. Here is the kickoff 
And the uh, Heath is bringing it out to cross the 20. Peyton down across the 30, down the far sideline at the 40, oh, nice job. across the 45. And they'll say he stepped out of bounds right mm. at the 45-yard line. <laughs> we almost we saw the speed and the strength of Raymond Payton. We almost got to see him take that one all the way in. He had one person to beat, and uh, he was fixing to walk that sideline. But, but like I said, but that was – you talk about shot and arm we needed. Just a nice return. Get the ball out of our end. We're on the our 45-yard line, and Rich, we need to we need to score pretty quick to get back in this game. You know, we can get seven or even eight points. You know, we can get back in this game, make it a one-possession game. Well, right now we just all need the bad, one good snap. Yeah, that's way. true too. Just to get started, need one good snap. But you know, so far tonight, Greenville's been able to answer when they keep, get a clean snap. But Justin Reeves is in to snap for the Lions. Handoff left side. Spigner gets across the 50. And they'll mark it right at uh, the 49-yard line well, we're gonna let the Liberty Isla. We're going to let the little bull run. <laughs> That's what he looked like. A nice six-yard game by Spigner. He just kind of bulled through there. And uh, good positive yard on first down. Looks like got about they're giving him about five, five and a half yards. Just a quick little hitter right up the middle and a positive yardage. Ball is on the far hash mark. Greenville moving left to right, trailing at 25-14. 5.50 to play in the third quarter. Clock is rolling. Twins to either side. Casey Ludford gives it to Spigner again up to middle. First down and more to the 42-yard nice line. Maybe the 41 with a spot. I'll tell you what, Spigner is about the best thing we have is a power back. You know, with the way he's built, he's he's very short. He's very stout. He's about 5'9", probably weighs about 185 pounds, just, just like just a, a thick. Uh, linebacker, he's, he's he's strong, he's muscular, he's got decent speed, and I mean he's just he's just lowering his head and running over some people, and I, I like I like this, and uh, he may not break it for 80, but he's going to get eight for you. And he didn't throw confetti at the end of the play either. No, he's thinking. from the shotgun, rolling right is Ludford, time to throw, pulls up, throwing deep, looking uh, down the far sideline, and throws it away. And uh, probably was a good play as Ludford gets up off his backside. Yeah, you know, that referee was looking right at that. But that was pretty close to um, uh, late hit on the, the quarterback. Yeah, uh, roughing the uh, – uh, okay. Anyway, we move on. I'm with you. No, we move on. Um, no penalties not for Liberty Island, correct? Mm. I've still got him for a zero, okay. and Earl still got him for zero. That's, that's what I thought. Okay. Anyway <clears> – <throat> So you made your point, okay? Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> Here come the line, second and 10 at the uh, Leopards 41-yard line. In motion to the far side goes Heath. Ledford runs left, turns at the 40, 35, and then down to about the 33-yard <laughs> line. I tell you, Ludford, I mean, he gets around that corner in a hurry, and he just lowered his head, and just he just willed himself that last two or three yards. But he, he can run, too. And um, he knocked the helmet off one of the leopards. Yeah, he he can run. He's pretty strong. He's deceptively strong. You know, he when you see him just in street clothes, you know, he's kind of a thin looking kid. You know, it looks like about a wiry. Yeah, yeah it looks like a hurdler, you know, in, in, in track. That's about the best way I can describe him. But um, he's got a little power when he hits and uh, he is in there pretty quick. You got a player with his helmet off and the umpire staring at him. And now they finally stopped the clock because there's an equipment problem. But he was waving at the sideline, viciously trying to get somebody's attention, saying, I need some relief out of here because my helmet broke. And so now they pull him out. But in the meantime, Liberty Ilo has to burn a timeout with 4.36 to play third quarter. They lead it 25-14. to 14. And uh, so the Lions have got something going on right here. Yeah, and I, you know, we've got third and three. And I know it's not time to panic, but we've got some momentum going. We're deep in their, their side of the field. And, I would think Coach Cardell is right now thinking about two plays to get three yards, you know, to, to try to climb back Move into this game. Move the chains. Yeah, and, um, you know, if we don't get the first down here, uh, if we get positive yardage, if we don't get the first, I, I think he'll go for it on fourth down. I'm just thinking ahead. Um, but, I, I, like I said, we're, we're, we're at a real critical point in the game right here. We're, we're down by 11, but we've got the ball on their 34-yard line and have some things going our way offensively. Really, you know, all night they, re they really haven't stopped us defensively. Yes. I mean, uh, we've put it a couple times, but that's pretty, pretty much our own fault. So, um, like I said, I know Coach Cordell's got to be thinking, you know, because they have, haven't overwhelmed us. They haven't really stopped us. Our, you know, we've stopped ourselves offensively. So, I think um, we're probably thinking two. Two to get one here. 25-14. Greenville is trailing. 4.36 to play. Lions have it third and three at the Leopard 34-yard line. Ball on the far hash mark. Greenville moving left to right. 
Twins to either side. From the shotgun is Ludford. Rolling to the near side, throwing to the near side. Caught at the 25 by uh, Heath, Kevin Heath for first down. Yeah, nice. Uh, Kevin Heath just kind of ran about a seven yard and curled in. Just kind of, he's so small, he just kind of got lost in the zone. And uh, But Casey found him. and Just, just sat down underneath the coverage. Yeah, and, and Casey just, it wasn't a hard, vicious throw. It was just a nice little toss out there, easy to catch. And uh, <clears throat> throw, nice throw, nice catch, uh, and, and good results. But, like, again, we, we have got something going here. And a critical point of the game to get back into this if we can punch one in right here. Ludford hands off left side. Curtis Johnson on an end around, and he gets down to about the 22-yard line. Yeah. Gain of about four on the play. Yeah, I wish Curtis may would have strung that out a little bit. Maybe, you know, he, he could see down there better than I can. It looks like the, the wall was beginning to form on the outside. Uh, Byron Bell was taking his man more, uh, trying to wall him off, and Curtis looked like he cut in just a little too soon. Might have had more yards outside, but anyway, it was positive yardage, but that play right there, that little inside reverse, makes the defense play honest, and, and, and I'm glad they continue to run it. Lions uh, coming up to the line of scrimmage now. Second and a long six. Ludford rolling to the near side. Just gets a great in. block. Throwing into the end zone. Oh. And it's caught by Curtis Johnson, but he was out of bounds. And I'm not sure he came down with the ball with total control, but he was out of bounds when he came down with it. Yeah, it was a nice throw and a nice catch. Just by, just, just a little, It looked like he was trying to drag a foot. It, you know, the, the our vision's kind of, or my vision's kind of cut off on, uh, by the, the press box. But, uh, like I said, that was a <laughs> yeah. But it was a heck of a catch, you know. And <laughs> I thought Casey was really going to pull the ball down, and start running, because he had a little room out here, maybe to gotten the first down. But again, here we are, um, third, third seven. And long six, yeah. short seven. So we might be thinking uh, two plays to get six yards here. Ludford from the shotgun, quick toss out to the far side. Get the first, get the first to the twenty, ah. and is caught at the eighteen-yard line and knocked down. It's going to bring up fourth and uh, a Perfect. short three, maybe two. Yeah, and decision time here, Coach Cordell. Uh, not a bad call, uh, Tim. Woods, would, uh, yeah, the receiver. Receiver caught the ball. Looked like a little bit of indecision of where he wanted to go with it, and um, just trying to lower his shoulder like he tried to put a move on the defender. And, and good open field tackle by the Liberty Idol defender. Uh, but yeah, fourth and about two and a half. Looks like we're going to go for it again, Rich. Like I said, this is a big play here. Well, it's a good time to do it. Yeah. Ludford from the shotgun. Fourth and about two yards. Ludford keeps it up the middle. First down and more inside the 15. Down to the 13-yard line. First and 10 for the Lions. Well, now nice. he had a little fake inside of Jermaine Hamilton. Uh, froze the linebackers just for a second for Liberty Ilo. And Ludford pulled the ball out and just went over right tackle to pick up about a seven-yard gain. Nice call, nice execution by the offensive line. Doing a good job tonight. And it looks like we've got our centering problem solved right now. So, um... Got like I said, a little something special going right here, Rich. Twins to either side on a first and ten play. Ludford, quick toss near side. Intercepted oh, at the 15-yard line. Well, the worst thing. At the 40 to yeah. the 50-yard line. And he is going to take it all the way to the house. Mm -hmm. Leroy Rick Dickerson comes up with the interception at the 15-yard line. Just flat stepped in front of that pass play and takes it to the house for the uh, Liberty Ilo Leopards and makes it 31-14. Leopards. Well, that is that one's tough. That one's tough. I mean, nice play by the Liberty Idol defender. Looked like he was going to drop it for a second, but he held on. And yeah, he bobbled it trying to get the handle on it, but he was headed to the end zone the whole time. He was. Yeah, he knew what to do with it, but yeah, he that, was juggling it. That one. Ooh, that that was a tough one because we could have we could have made this game a. Um, we still got time. Yeah. But it's, it's swinging gate out to the near side. Now they go back and set it up for Middlebrooks to uh, kick it. Waiting on the uh, the snap. Again, got the wind at his back here. Gets a good snap. It's down. And the kick is up, and it is good. And it is 32-14. Liberty Ilo over Greenville, 2-10 to play in the third quarter. We'll be back when Greenville Lions football continues in a moment. Welcome back to Liberty Ilo. The Greenville Lions trailing at 32-14 on an interception by uh, Leroy Rick Dickerson, 6'3", 172-pound junior for Liberty Ilo, picked it off at about the 10-yard line, returned it about 91 or two yards for the touch. Here's the kickoff, and Middlebrooks puts a good toe into it. 
Peyton will take it three yards deep, comes up the middle of the field, comes to the near side, comes outside of the 15, the 20, down the near sideline at the 30, the 40, and then knocked out of bounds at about the 47-yard line, first and 10 for the Greenville Lions with a Liberty Ilo player down back at the 22. Well, good job by Raymond Peyton again. You know, says Greenville up, you know, good field position. Um, man, you know, just – we're imploding on ourselves right now, and uh, oh, we, you know, we're, we're still playing hard. We're still playing tough, but we're making it hard on ourselves right now. Um, I don't know if that's uh, Coach Cordell or not, but he's out visiting with the uh, the referee, and he's having a discussion with him about the uh, the way that they're lining up. And see, you know, I think they're discussing. Let's see, we have how many penalties on kickoff, and they yeah. have how many total, uh, and yeah. And so he's just, you know, checking the rules. Right, I understand. Making sure it's because uh, we are close to Arkansas. <laughs> yeah. But like I said, we're, we're, we're hurting ourselves way more than anybody else hurting, uh, hurt, hurting us. Twins to either side. Gives it off up the middle, across the 50 to the 45, and then down to the 43-yard line and close to a first down is – I started to say, it is Ronnie Stanton. Okay. No, it was, Brand, it was Brandon Glenn. I mean, uh, Justin Glenn. Was it Justin Glenn? Yeah, 28. Okay. Uh, a nice nine, nice nine-yard gain just right up the middle. Like I said, you know, all night, you know, Liberty Allo has not really stopped us. We're we're marching right back where we took off a while ago. Just, you know. We're jamming. Yeah. But Second like, and one for the Lions at the 44-yard line of Liberty Allo. Ball in the near hash mark. Greenville moving left to right, trailing at 32-14. Ludford with a snap, looking, looking, now takes off running to the far side, throws it to the far side, receiver oh. was wide open at the 31-yard line, and it was high and outside, yeah. ball one. Tough, tough catch, because I don't know who that is, but he was wide open. Um, I, can't, I can't tell his number from here. It may have been Shane, it's a five, there's a five in there. One five, fifteen. Shane Gray. No, it was 85. Oh, 85, Baxter McConnell. Baxter McConnell. Yeah. But he, he was, was all alone yeah. down around the 30-yard line. But we've got, um, and, and not a bad call, trying to go deep, trying to get something to happen. But, again, we got third and one, so like I said, the first thing to yeah, do is just The pick, second and short play, so, you know, go for it. Pick up the first down here, keep the drive alive, and let's see if we can climb back in this ball game. Ludford from the shotgun. Keeps it, comes near first side, down. has the first down, across the 40, and down to the 38-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Lions. A minute and nine, they finally stop the clock. And 32-14, Greenville is trailing it. Uh, Ludford uh, had a pass intercepted. The Lions had a drive going, and uh, yeah. Dickerson uh, steps in front of a pass and returns it about 90-something yards for the touch for Liberty Ilo, and that's what made it 32-14. But uh, Greenville has, uh, has been looking awfully strong. Scoreboard doesn't reflect it. Glenn goes left side. He's across the 30, puts his Ooh. head down, drives across the 25 well, to the 23-yard line, first and 10 for your Lions. Yeah, I mean, man, just a nice run by Brandon Glenn. I mean, it was about a 20-yard run. He just all, he turned, he looked up, and he was in the Liberty Isle secondary, and, and um, he met the free safety, just lowered the boom and picked up an extra two or three yards. Just, like I said, Greenville's just picked up right where they left off a while ago. Which, you know, but can we, like I said, let's not make the mistakes and uh, punch one in. Uh, but, and um, uh, Greenville's leaving a trail of bodies behind him here. There's yeah. another Liberty Isle uh, player that's down. 43 seconds to play here in the uh, third quarter. Greenville trailing at 32-14. Uh, the Lions have it first and 10 at the 23-yard line. Let's see. Let me look over here. What have we got in the way of total offense here, Earl? Statistician extraordinaire. 40 plays for 227 yards, and Liberty Ilo has 38 plays for 215 yards. And uh, now they're helping the, the uh, player up, and he's standing on his own accord and just walking off the field uh, gingerly. Yeah, he's a little woozy. And, uh, Little like he might have spent a little bit too much time on the Gatorade bottle. I was going to say, he, he he's taking a shot to the head. He's He looks like he's suffering from a little bit of a concussion right now. That may have been a, a Justin Glenn hit. Could have not, played he, a part of that because well, he, he just absolutely lowered his shoulder and just and drove. He laid somebody. I don't know if it was that young man or not, number 89, I believe that's his number. But he he, but that young man is not quite sure where he is right now. <sighs> Uh, there was movement before the snap of the ball, and Ludford was having to spend his right to try and, and look for the ball. And they're going to uh, – flag is thrown uh, and charged against the Lions. So they'll back it up five yards. And uh, Reeves is in uh, 
handling this. I think it's Reeves. Uh, I think it's Tippett. Tippett yeah. is in there now. Yeah, Shelby. Yeah. Shelby Tippett, number 55, is playing center. But like I said, we're still having a hard time with that snap. So first and 15 for Greenville at about the 28-yard line of Liberty Ilo. Good snap. Good handoff. Glenn across the 20. Still driving at the 18. Hamilton. Is it? Uh, yeah, it's Jermaine Hamilton on the, the carry. Six. Nice, about a 10-yard gain. Got most. Got the penalty back and and almost got the first down. Again, like I said, we're we're just pretty. I think Liberty Isle kids starting to get tired. Yeah. And um, you know we look, still look pretty fresh. But and that's the end of the third quarter of play. Greenville trailing at 32-14. We'll be back when Greenville Lions football continues in a moment. Welcome back to uh, Liberty Ilo, where the Greenville Lions trail at 32-14. And the Lions have it uh, second down at the uh, Liberty Ilo 18-yard line. Ball in the near hash mark. Lions now moving right to left. Ledford again in the shotgun. Twins to either side. Send uh, the slot man left in motion to the right. Ledford rolling right, tucks and runs. Now comes back to the other side, losing a lot of yardage, and now just throws it away uh, very wisely. Yeah, good play. They're looking for a, a grounding or what. But I, <laughs> Liberty Ilo coaches. Now they throw a late whoa, flag. Whoa, 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 There's whoa. A little whoa. politicking going on on the field, and that brings uh, Cordell on, out onto the field. <laughs> Do it now. The, the ball has to go pass. beyond. Okay. Pass has to well, go beyond it, yeah, the line it, it of scrimmage. Didn't make, it didn't make it. Well, it didn't make it to the line of scrimmage. So I guess that's the intentional grounding. And so that'll back it up and uh, loss it down on the play. 11.52 to play in uh, in the ball game. So now it brings up third down. They need to get to the uh, about the 12-yard line of Liberty Ilo to pick up a first down. Well, that was an unfortunate. You know, we, we had... What was that, about eight yards to go? No, we had about, uh, no, it's about four or five, I think, if that I recall close? correctly. Yeah. Now from the shotgun, a third down and long. Ludford, under pressure, comes to the near side, takes off, and is dropped for a loss back at the 43-yard line. And Devin Bruce is credited with the uh, the sack, is a coverage sack by the secondary. That time the defense was keeping up, and I saw Casey was uh, really kind of lecturing Tim Woods and didn't like the, the route that he had run on the play before, and he was kind of looking at Woods on that play, and I don't know, I have no idea what, what the, the breakdown was. was about. Yeah. Lacey, I mean, Casey held the ball as, as, as long as he could and, uh, you know, waited for somebody to break open, and I don't know if somebody ran the wrong route. You know, you, the way he was looking and waiting, you know, he was waiting for something, something to develop that didn't develop. Tarrant punting from his 45. High punt, looking for a little bit of a roll nice here. Job. Got coverage down there as it rolls uh, down close to the five and yeah. just inside the five-yard line, and that's where the Liberty Ilo will set up shop with 10.57 to play in the ball game, leading at 32-14 over the Greenville Lions. That was a nice job by Andrew Tarrant, pin the, pin the Leopards deep in their in, uh, end of the field. Uh, your boy, a turnover right here would sure be nice. You know, the field is looking a little softer than what it I mean, because the ball, the way the ball is bouncing, it's like it's getting good bite. Well, I'm not seeing it. Well, I've seen see a few see divots out divot. there. Yeah. yeah. So the ball is uh, inside the Leopard five-yard line. Well, like I said, maybe it's time for Greenwood to get a break here. It's um, Defense has been pretty rough on them so far on the Leopards. They hand off to uh, good job James, and they uh, knock him down at the five. Yeah, again, uh, Pearson McIntyre is... Uh, steps in the backfield, Martin Almanza, and uh, again, Marcus Dad Mosby was around his ankles. Yeah, and uh, Coleman. Oh, yeah, Coleman was who ran his ankles. You know, Coleman is, boy, he's he's really been a nice surprise uh, defensively. He, I don't, I don't think they gave him a yard. I mean, we're good, good job on first on the down. Field. You know, we keep him pinned deep. If we can, boy, if we could hold him here and we could get the ball back in pretty decent field position and, and make another run at the goal line. Second and five. Hand off left side. James tries to bounce it back Good up job. the middle. He's caught Justin inside Davis. the five and then pushed back into the end zone. And then he fumbles the ball out the back of the end zone. Well, Greenville's defense is really stepping up right now. Justin Davis, number 70, playing nose guard, just stepped in the backfield and made him right when he, uh, <coughs> right when he received the handoff. And uh, he had no place to go. 
and, and like I said, I'm hoping the conditioning of the lines is going to take over here in a second. Be, um, but so far, we got third and long. This is this is this is the situation I hate the most. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this one right now. Third yeah. and ten with the ball inside the five yard line of Liberty Ilo. Lions trailing at 32-14. And Liberty Ilo trying to use as much clock as they can. They had to burn a timeout in the third quarter. Well, they're going to have to burn another one here, which is, I guess they're going to trade and call a timeout. And uh, they will call a timeout now with 9.30 to play. 32-14, Liberty Ilo leading it. And we'll be back when Greenville Lions football continues in a moment. But he's got that Welcome back to Liberty Ilo. Greenville trailing at 32-14, 9.30 to play in the ball game. Third and 10 inside Liberty Ilo's own five-yard line. Lions defense trying to step up now, and it's going to be real interesting to see what the uh, Leopards, because the playbook's pretty thin for a third and inside your own five. Well, and, you know, like I said, and, and they're not wanting to give up anything. As I, I, I would think they would hand it off to James and just get what they can and, James, right. play action, throwing it out to the near side. Out of bounds. And it is caught out of bounds. Okay. Pass was caught by Brian Porter. Yep. And good coverage on him, but it was a, it was a good Nick, catch by Porter. You know, Nick Spigner uh, did a good job, and Reggie Freeman was coming over the top and was able to – they had him covered. It was really a nice catch by the fullback, but yes. he was out of, out of bounds. And a good call by the officials right there on it. And uh, Green was going to get the ball in really good field position here. And uh, let's see if we can maybe – get a good punt return and get something to happen in a hurry. Curtis Johnson and Kevin Heath are back deep for the Lions, standing uh, close to the 50-yard line. Middlebrooks is standing eight yards deep in the end zone now, and he will be punting into the wind. Kicking from our left to right. Gets a snap off to his right. Booms a nice punt. Bounces at the 48, taken at the Greenville 48 by Heath as he goes oh. right. Turns at the 45, down the 40, far sideline at the 30-yard line and knocked out of bounds right there in front of the Greenville bench at the 30-yard line. I tell you, what, uh, Curtis, was, who was back there with him, Curtis Johnson? Yes. Uh, Curtis Johnson, wonderful block, got him around the corner. He just came and sealed off the coverage, and uh, Heath was able to break that right behind his block and take that ball down to the 30-yard line. Great job by both the receiver and uh, Curtis Johnson, his blocker. Well, we're 30 yards here from uh, for making this game interesting. 9.09 to play in the ball game. Greenville trailing at 32-14. Lions have it first and 10 at the Leopard 30. Trips to the far side, one receiver to the near side from the shotgun. The blitz is on, passes in the air, and incomplete at the six-yard line, and Ludford is laid out. Yeah, they're starting to really bring some heat off the corners. Uh, and they're, just, they're just bringing backers every play and trying to disrupt you know, Greenville, not letting us have our timing. Um, <clears throat> but when you do that, you know, you get burned by some of the, some of the inside uh, traps we've been running tonight. and, and Either we got a, a, some misassignments on the blocking schemes or they're just overloading the weak side and bringing, bringing it tough against Ludford. Justin Glenn standing to the left of Casey Ludford. Second and ten. Slot back comes in motion from right to left. Rolling out to the near side is Ludford. Throwing left. Ball tipped mm -hmm. up into the air. Intended for Heath at about the 20-yard line. Well, just a little sprint out to the left. Heath was open. Ronnie Stanton also was open deep going down go into the end zone on a, a little flood flood pattern. Uh, Casey read, the, read it right. He had Heath open, but like I said, the good job by the defender of Liberty Island to get his hand on yeah. that ball. Patrick Bukes, I think, is who did yeah. that. But that time he didn't have quite enough air under the ball. No, just to lay it in there. Ludford wants to throw again. Throwing left, oh. high and outside and over the head of Ronnie Stanton. Incomplete pass will bring up fourth down and 10 for the Lions at yeah. the 30-yard line. Well, nice route, just a little slant route. Stanton was wide open. Um, like I said, the ball sailed on Ludford just a little bit, and Stanton couldn't, could get a hand on it, but he couldn't bring it in. But he was open. If he could have caught that ball on stride, he was walking into the end zone. Yeah, he looked like he's running a slant, and he was in full stride with it, and it was uh, Liberty Island kids the post. Really weren't very close to him. From the shotgun again, the Lions are going for it on fourth down. Slot man in motion to the far side. Low snap to the left. Ludford rolling right, now looking deep into the end zone, throws the ball up for grabs, and it is Whoa. batted away in the end zone. And so uh, Liberty Isla will take over possession of the ball at their own 30. Well, like I said, 
<clears throat> you know, good call, good good route. Almost <laughs> almost bounced into Kevin Heath's hands. They had two defenders with Liberty out on the goal line, and um, they bounced it up. And Kevin almost had a shot at bringing that thing down. And you know, just if he had, of it's a touchdown. But now we have to ask the Greenville defense once again to stop him and try to get the ball back. And they can they can do that. Yeah, but they're putting quite a bit of pressure on uh, Casey for the first time. They've been yeah, coming they're getting, at him that hard and knocked him down. Yeah, they're getting to him pretty times. quick. And like the Greenville coaches were thinking, let's score pretty quick, try to throw one, get one in in a hurry, and then uh, you know get back in this game, play football. But like I said, a turnover right here should would be nice for us. They were short a player. And timeout is going to be called by Liberty Ilo because the player came out late. 8.45 to play in the game, 32-14, Greenville trailing it. We'll be back when Greenville Lions football continues in a moment. 32-14, Liberty Ilo leading it, 8.45 to play. They had to burn a timeout because their offense wasn't ready to come out on the field. I formation with one receiver wide to the far side. They're moving left to right. One slot man to the left, to the far side. Hand off to James. He comes to the near side. Got some room at the 35. Hit at the 40-yard uh, line. And he just stops there with a penalty marker uh, coming out. Yeah, and Reggie good. Freeman just Michael held him up and wouldn't let him go any further. <laughs> this is, that's what's called a hog tie. What are they going to call this penalty? Because, um, you know, it was pretty much, the play was pretty much over. Illegal use of hands charged against Liberty Ilo. Whoa, that's timely. First penalty. The first one, and they're up by how much and how much time is left. 32-14, late yeah. 34 to play in the ball game, and Liberty Ilo collects their first penalty of the game. So illegal use of hands, does that mean a hold or I guess it's an illegal block, you know. Kind of. Okay. Well, it sets them back a little bit. Yeah. But, yeah, but nice play by Reggie Freeman. Like I said, just like he just hogged at him. He just grabbed him, stopped, kind of picked him up. And yeah, Freeman wasn't running. I mean, uh, James wasn't running with any authority. <laughs> no, nah, he's just trying to get out there and make something happen. Um, Greenville's defense tonight, second half, has really played well. Uh, Liberty Idol's points have come. Uh, there was one field goal, mm -hmm. a safety, and then a uh, interception return. That's about all. And Twins uh, to the far side on the uh, first and tw uh, 11 play from the 29. Handoff up the middle, and the Lions uh, stuff it at the 31-yard line. And I don't think that that was James on the carry. That might have been Bats. Yeah, I think um, who was that? It Greenville. was a James. I'm trying to say who the Greenville player was that, that shot in there very quickly. I don't know if Oscar Lloyd, but somebody was in the backfield very quickly and disrupted the play, and held him to about a three-yard gain. And um, but again, like I said, Greenville's defense has played well the second half, and. Um, James has 24 carries for 111 yards, but it's not very impressive. Well, he, he's fast, and uh, he, he gets on the corner quick. I wouldn't say he's a real powerful back. We've seen, you know, he's, we've seen, we've seen some good backs, uh, and, and he's good. But, yeah, Hand you know. off comes to James. He comes to the near side, oh, turns nice to the hold. 30, 35, and gets out to the 39-yard line. Is going to be close to a first down. He'll bring up third. And less than a yard needed to get the first down, but uh, he's getting some good blocking up on the right side of the line. Yeah, nice job blocking. A couple of good holds I saw by the wide receiver uh, on our secondary. Um, but they gave him a nine, gave him about a seven-yard gain. It's going to leave him third and one. Ball is at the 39 on the near hash mark. Leopards moving left to right, leading at 32-14. 6.52 to play in the ball game. I formation with one receiver wide of the near side. Tight end is to the far side. Middlebrooks keeps it and gets the first down and more across the 45 to the 46-yard line. Well, Middlebrooks came out on the option and probably did the good thing was hang on to it. It looked like he, he thought about pitching it a couple times, and uh, we that time we did have the uh, pitch man covered, but middle, the linebacker was not able to get out and, and make the play on the uh, quarterback. Clock rolling with 6.33 to play in the game. 32-14, the number five state-ranked Liberty Ilo Leopards leading the Greenville Lions. Yeah, and Middlebrook's just now checking in to the huddle. Yeah, with seven seconds on the play clock. Yeah, we're getting, yeah they're, they're really working the clock pretty good. And, and um, they may not get this. Now there's some confusion on the part of the. Uh, that should be a delay of should, game. Well, also should, should be. Two people in motion. Yeah. Delay a game is charged against uh, the uh, Leopards. They just absolutely had no clue what they were doing. <laughs> yeah. 
but we're going to get to the point where the clock's going to start working against us. If we moves the ball back to the uh, uh, just inside the uh, Liberty ILO 41 yard line. They're moving uh, left to right, leading at 32 14 with 6.06 to play in the ball game. First and 15 for the Leopards. On the option, do a little uh, reverse. Nice job. Gets uh, almost to the 40-yard line. Actually, we, yeah, well, actually, it looks like they lost about two yards. I think that was a Spigner. They fired through his, from his linebacker position, was able to Bats get the ball carry. Yeah. yeah, the little there was a little fullback, fullback. counter, and um, Nick was able to bust through there and actually dropped it for about a yard loss. Uh, so puts it back on the 40-yard line. Second down play. Now they need to get to the Greenville 44 to get a first down. We Clock got, rolling with 5.35 to play in the game. Two receivers to the far side. Middlebrook's under center. I formation with Bats the fullback. James the tailback. Gives it to James. He's caught in the backfield and dropped in the backfield. Daniel Coleman again. I mean, Daniel Coleman has been an anchor tonight on that. He's, I think he's been playing most of the second half. And, uh, boy, he has been a force to be reckoned with. He's... He's pretty short, and he's real stout. He's about 5'7", and probably goes about 200 pounds. But, boy, he is quick, and he is hard to block. He has been a thorn in their side all night from his uh, uh, defensive end position. And um, he's really playing well and was able to get through there and drop about a five-yard loss. So yeah, third defense and, has been backing them up here yeah, in the second half. Is, second half defense has played very, very well. Third I mean, down from the 34-yard line. They need to get to the Greenville 44 for a first down. Pitch to the left side to James. Okay. Caught in the backfield, gets loose, and Marty Almanza puts him away back at the 25-yard line <laughs> as the Lions defense continues to back up the left. Yeah, great job defense. I mean, like I said, I can't say enough about the defense. Well, really, they played well all night, but, I mean, they second half they have stuffed Liberty Ilo, their points have come on other miscues off our off of our offense, but defense has played well and played tough. And uh, one more time, they're going to get the ball back to our offense see if we can get something going here. 4:05 to play in the game. Dickerson uh, was the one that intercepted the pass, ran it back for about 90 something yards for a touchdown for Liberty Ilo that uh, put them up 32-14. Middlebrook's back to punt from his 15-yard line, gets a bouncy snap, and gets run into by Almanza, oh, and they're going to throw a flag, although the, the ball hit the ground, and uh, the ball is going to be blown dead back at the 39 of Greenville, and Almanza is down back at the 14-yard line. Well, Earl's saying he actually hit the ball. I, I couldn't tell that, but I tell you what, that was um, – was. Well, Coach Cordell is is that talking to the referee, pretty, pretty and, weak uh, call, and giving him some and a pretty good job of acting. Is that going to be an automatic? Well, that that won't be the no. Test it's just running into. Well, I don't know. It depends on if he calls it a personal foul or running into the to the kicker. Well, if it's running into the kicker, it's just five, five yards, yards and they do it again. again. Depends on how generous he wants to be. Well, got to consider where we are. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, waiting on some sort of indication from the referee as to exactly how he's going to call. Well, he and he's—I guess he's discussing with uh, Coach Brady. You know how you want to see this. Yeah, that's, three forty-three that, to play in, like. in the ball game. He's walked all the way over <laughs> here, and 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 looks like the coach from Liberty Ilo. Well, I don't know if he's talking to him now. I have no clue. Everything is speculation at this point at best. But no, Coach but, Cordell was not pleased with the flag. Well, it looks like they're going to kick it again. Or well, maybe we'll get a kick. We can return and take one down the down the field, take one down the throws. But it looks like it's going to be the five-yard variety. They move the ball to the 35-yard line. And so now it'll be fourth down. They need to get to the Greenville 44-yard line. Liberty Ilo Drive has consumed five minutes and two seconds and gone, so far. And has gone nowhere, but they have really taken some time off the clock. No. Yep. They've had a little help here. Middlebrook's uh, waiting for the snap. Has uh, someone standing to his left. A little quick kick. Penalty marker is down at the 40-yard line at Greenville, and the Lions let this one bounce over their head and into the end zone. Well, let's see what this. And one of the uh, Liberty Ilo uh, players gets up, and he is yelling at the umpire viciously. 
acrimoniously, and there's another flag that's back at the uh, Liberty Ilo 34 yard line. I don't know what all this is going on. Just absolutely let this game get out of hand. Well, I don't know, but let's look. What do you got? I don't know. What do you got? Well, I know usually in these situations it's not good for Green. <laughs> it's, but, I, uh, I, but I saw nobody from Greenville react in any kind of way uh, of anything. Middlebrooks is back to punt again from his 26 yard line. And is, uh, I think James will be standing to his left. Gets off another nice punt. And taken at the 20 yard line. Coming to the 25, to the 30, to the 40. This is Curtis Johnson to the 45 and knocked out of bounds okay, at nice the 49-yard line by Jamichael James. Nice job by the Greenville punt return team. Nice blocks. Love Michael James. Uh, Martin Almanza and Reggie Freeman both threw blocks and uh, were able to wall off the defenders. And uh, Curtis Johnson split the first two gunners and was and got a real nice return right up at midfield, 50-yard line. So again, uh, Greenville defense, great job, second half and. Uh, Punt return. Good job on special teams. I'm impressed that James was able to make a tackle. <laughs> 319 to play here in the ball game. Greenville trailing at 32-14 behind the uh, number five state ranked Liberty Ilo Leopards. Well, here comes the Greenville offense, and <clears throat> I know they want to punch one in real quick and, and, and see if we can maybe go for an onside kick and make this game interesting. But and I think Bird may be back in at center. He is. And Ludford throwing right in and out of the hands of Heath, who was wide open inside the 40-yard line of Liberty Ilo, and the Leopards had another shot at intercepting one and maybe taking it back to the house again. They really did. I tell you what, Casey Ludford, that was a nice throw. I mean, he threw that ball perfectly, and um, Kevin has got to catch that one. Yeah. I mean, it was right there. There was no beat around him. He had a nice little cushion and uh, could have ran a little bit afterwards. But, boy, you just, you, just, you just don't get many like that. Second and 10 for the Lions at the 48, uh, and there's a movement. Uh, the ball moved, and uh, Liberty Allo jumped, as I would have. Man, I, don't, I, don't, I got a feeling it's going to be against us. Well, it, it should be. Center moved the ball. And then... And they're discussing it. And now the the Lions are applauding. So I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's two flags down, one on this side and one over on the far side. We're going to have a do-over. The referee says dead ball foul. Offsides, Liberty Ilo. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I think we can. <laughs> well, I mean, it's only 3-12 left in the game. 32-14, Liberty Ilo leading it. Yep. And uh, so the Lions are now looking uh, – at second and five from the 47 of Liberty Ilo. Mm. Quick pass near side. Gray cannot hang on to it at that's, 39. That was in and out of his hands. That's Baxter McConnell. I'm sorry, McConnell. Yeah. Baxter McConnell. That was Baxter McConnell coming there, and, and it was a rocket by Ludford. Uh, but he should have caught it. He should have caught it. I mean, it was there. Hand. That's two in a row that Casey's throwing beautiful passes, two of them. And, um, you know, just right through the hands. Third and five for the Lions. And Ludford's not pleased with his receivers right no, now. No, and he, and he shouldn't be. Yeah. I mean, they did a good job early in the game. But, you know, the second half, he's put some balls on the money. And Ludford play action, rolling to the near side, decides to tuck and run. Puts his head down and drives the towards the 40-yard line. Enough for a first down at the Liberty Ilo 41 is where they'll mark it with 2.58 to play in the game. Greenville trailing at 32-14. Yeah, you know, Ludford's just kind of running for his life right there. But um, receivers, like I say, I don't, I don't know if they're running the wrong routes. They're not looking at the right time. But Ludford is, is, is trying to be patient back there and wait for things to open up. And when they do open up, he's getting the ball to him, but they're dropping the ball. Ludford the is ready to go and trying to get his team up to the, yeah. to the line. Now he's throwing deep down the far side. There's a group of players. One of the Lions uh, is trips and falls down and uh, passes incomplete. Yeah, we had two lines running together in about five or There's about four, four Liberty Island. Leopards, yeah. <clears throat> and, and two Greenville Lions. I'm not sure what was, who was supposed to be running what on that route, but that was a running scrum. Oh, man. And yeah, nobody had the ball. So it brings up second and 10 for the Lions with 2.47 to play in the ball game. And uh, Ludford's getting a little, uh, little agitated. Yeah, because he's doing all he can to, to – to, <laughs> to get something going for the Lions. And they moved the ball back to the 
40, just outside the 41-yard line. Ledford takes off up the middle with it. Runs right at the 35, gets to the 30, 25, and brought nice down job. at the 20-yard line. Maybe the 19 for a first down for the Lions with 2.38 to play in the ball game. Greenville trailing at 32-14. Well, that was just a quarterback draw. Casey almost took it all the way, but he said, okay, dead gum, and I'll do it myself if I have to. But um, like I said, his heart is pretty big because, I mean, he's wanting to get this one in the end zone. First and 10 for the Lions. Ledford wants to throw. Good waiting, hard. waiting, looking, looking, throwing over the middle in the dirt. Incomplete at the four-yard line. Well, that time the offensive line did a wonderful job. Casey just camped out back there. I, uh, Hamilton uh, broke open late and was wide open. Casey just threw the ball a little bit low and behind him. Uh, could have been a big play. Almost could have been a touchdown if he had caught the ball. Second and 10 for the Lions at the 19 of Liberty High Low. Ludford under mm. pressure and down he goes at the 24-yard line. Uh, that time, like I said, Liberty Hollow just brought a lot of heat, just trying to get to him, make him do something. And uh, offensive line just got overwhelmed that time. 2-11 to play in the ball game with the clock rolling with 32-14 the score. Lions have all three timeouts remaining. Liberty Hollow has no timeouts remaining, not that they need them. Third and 14 now for Greenville. Lions using a lot of time here. Ledford is yelling signals. Uh, Who's that in the backfield with him? Hamilton. Hamilton standing to the left. Johnson in motion to the left. Ledford. Uh, Penalty well, marker is uh, thrown. Uh, yeah, we were going. Curtis Johnson was going upfield, was making his turn upfield in motion before the ball was snapped. I think it's Dead ball against. foul. Dead ball foul. Illegal motion charged <laughs> against your Greenville Lions. Man, the eagle eyes. Mm. Boy, they see those. Yeah, they do. It's pretty obvious. Yeah. Some of them are easier than others to see. Uh -huh. Clock rolls with a minute 39 to play. Greenville trailing at 32-14. Game a whole lot closer than the score would indicate. Especially the second half. Yeah. Especially the second, I mean, we, we've at, we, second half, we really outplayed and We shut them down offensively. Yeah. And, and scored defensively. Ledford wants to throw again. Throwing deep into the end zone. Ball is up for grabs and is knocked down. The pass intended for McConnell at the two-yard line and uh, threw it in a double coverage. Well, like I said, Baxter had, had gone across the middle deep and uh, Liberty Idol, uh, all their kids are playing back seven or eight, ten yards, just backing up, playing center fields. So it's, it's going to be it's hard to get one deep. I thought Lover might just run the quarterback draw. That's probably been he did pretty well a while ago, almost scored. Ludford rolling to the near side. Throws it to the near side for, to Curtis Johnson. This time he throws it high and a little behind Curtis. Curtis never had a shot at it on that fourth down yeah. play, and it's a minute 11 to play in the ball game. Greenville trailing at 32-14. Yeah, that was that was just kind of out of frustration. Yeah, Rich, I agree with you. The second half, you know, Greenville has played very well. I'm very impressed with the defense. They played pretty well offensively. I don't know how many what. The, Yardage well, was. Greenville had 15 first downs in the ball game. Liberty Island 11. Uh, Lions uh, 55 plays for 252 yards. Liberty Island 48 plays for 230 yards. Lions had the ball for 25 minutes, and uh, Liberty Island had it for 21 minutes. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty close ball game. Oh, yeah, and the 252, okay. Hand off to the near side, and they scoot out across the 31. Yeah, <laughs> again, and like I said, Greenbaugh, Martin Almanza. Um, bats on the carry. Yeah, Daniel Coleman, Nick Spider, you know, they're still yeah. trying to hit, you know, still trying to make something happen. But that um, 252 yards I was telling you about, Earl was pointing out, that that uh, included the 40 yards that they had lost oh, on man. those uh, okay. on the snaps. Yeah. And then having to kick it out of the – End zone. So the Lions dominated in the second half. That interception right down there was what uh, was really changed the, the scoreboard. Yeah, really the killer. But like I said, I thought the Lions defensively have played very well second half. 31 seconds to play in the ball game, and uh, the Leopards take a knee. They'll let the uh, clock run out. 32-14, Liberty Ilo out on top. Ranked number five in the state by the Associated Press. And they have uh, an impressive tandem here. 
Middlebrooks is uh, the real deal as the uh, quarterback for uh, the uh, Liberty ILO Leopards. And uh, got a, a pretty impressive uh, offensive line. Defense did very well, I thought, to come in and put that much pressure on Casey Ledford in the second half when he was trying to throw the ball. Yeah, they, has, they has good, made some good calls and brought some, some uh, blitzes at, time, at good times. And like I said, was able to disrupt some of the timing that Casey had going earlier. Um, but again, you know, I, the effort was there. The lines never quit. They played tough. Um, a lot of good things, but I th it kind of goes back to what we've had the last couple of weeks. You take away two three plays yeah. you know it's, it's another one they should have won this is one they, they could have won